Hey guys, welcome to my new home. Come in, have a drink. Let me show you around. This is Malibu, the newest addition to the family. So I've just moved into this house a month ago, but I've gone straight to work because I'm kind of obsessed and a homebody that my home is my sanctuary, it's my temple. The sun is really strong in my face right now, so I need to move maybe over somewhere where it's not. Okay, perfect, here. And I've just been nonstop decorating, gardening, and doing everything to make this place really feel like my home. So let me first give a little bit of a background. If you watch my previous video, you know I left Changu. I was over that, too congested, too crowded, and I found an absolute gem of a place here in Korobakan. Malibu, you can go and play. So this area is known for expats and locals, and you get a lot more for your money. For just a couple thousand dollars more, I have all of this space, which I'm very excited to show you, but let's start with this outside area. Obviously, we have this great pool, these Buddhas and everything came with it, so I didn't have to do so much, but I am kind of obsessed with gardening. I don't get my hands dirty. I do have someone to help me with that, I'll be honest, but we had only these really ugly little shrubs all around everywhere, and I hate little shrubs. I want flowers everywhere. So we've been planting all these kinds of things. I think it's night jasmine. They're in various states of blooming and death. We've also put these flowers in, which make these nice little yellow, kind of almost orchid looking things. And then these down here too will eventually have flowers. So it's only been a month. We need a lot of time for these things to grow, but I'm gonna be here for who knows how long. And maybe when you come back in and check in with me in six months, I will have a lot more flowers to show you. Also, I've planted these beautiful flowering vines. You can't see them yet because they have not started. But hopefully, as I said, all of this will just be covered and covered in flowers. Let's go inside. All right, all that talking already, I need a refreshment. Mm. What I love about this place is that very rare in Bali to have indoor living. You will find so many villas that basically the only thing that's inside is your room and everything, all of the kitchen area, living room area, if there is one, which can be hard to find as well, will be outside. And I'm someone who is deathly afraid of bugs, especially spiders. I cannot have this fully open living all the time. I wanna be able to close this and be feeling safe from nasty critters at night. But during the daytime, it's lovely to have everything open because you get in a beautiful breeze and when my flowers are blooming there will be a nice wafting scent of jasmine. So a lot of the furniture already did come with the house and the house has good bones so I've just kind of done some aesthetic changes. This was already here, didn't need to do anything with it. Not my favorite wood but I don't have dinner parties right now. I hardly have any friends to be honest so that's okay. One of the cosmetic changes I made here in this living room area was changing these throw pillows. So they were really hideous before this tropical, I can actually show you because you want to know a secret, is that they're hidden just underneath the pillow. You'll see how ugly. Look at this. I can't live with a pillow that looks like this. So I went just down the street and I had all of these custom made for me and it was actually really cheap versus going to a retail store where they do the markup like three times. So just that little aesthetic change of the throw pillows, I felt like added a lot of class to this place. But one of the absolute first things I did when I came in here was I changed all of the ceiling fans. So I'm gonna show you what the ceiling fans looked like because I kept two of them, the ones in the rooms where I don't have to look at them as much. I have this revulsion to the original ceiling fan because it reminds me exactly of the ceiling fan that was in my kitchen in the house that I grew up in in the United States. So it's this heinous, I don't even know what you call this, like farm style, Victorian, just ugly. It was just plain ugly. So I ordered all the fans online and then had them installed very cheaply. Each fan cost about $50, but for me that was a very worthwhile aesthetic change just because looking at these nice white fans, and even functionally as well, they work much better. This one, even on full speed, is you could, it feels like somebody is misting you with a piece of paper. Um, before we had really heinous uh, lamps that looked like sperm actually that were coming down from the ceiling. These were so cheap, $10 each on Tokopedia. Just ordered them, it came even with the Edison bulb. I think that adds a nice kind of industrial touch, which I'm into. All of the photographs 
on the wall are things that I've taken and had printed here in Bali and framed. One of the things that I love about living here is that it is so inexpensive to do that. So I just go to the printing shop that's literally one minute down the street. And even this big one, look at this. This is from the Gold Coast in Australia. That cost me about $10 to print on really nice matte photo paper and to frame it maybe $20, $25. I don't even know how much that would cost back in the United States, but I'm sure it would cost 10 times that much. So I'm still in the process of printing some other photographs. I'm gonna have one hung here soon. I love this one. This is my most recent of this Balinese man smoking a cigarette during a ceremony and clearly nobody is that concerned about coronavirus. In the kitchen, I don't actually cook. So while having an oven and a big stove top like this is quite a rarity, it is a little bit lost on me. So if anybody wants to come over and cook me dinner, this is here, but it won't be used by me. And then you saw a sneak peek when I showed you this hideous fan, but let's go back into what I converted into my office. So this actually used to be a bedroom, but I had the owner take out all of the furniture. There was a bed in here. I don't even know who would want to sleep in such a small claustrophobic room. But anyway, I converted this into my office slash photo studio. So this is my desk that I had bought over a year ago and hadn't been using. It was in storage. This is where I do my work in the morning. I have my photography equipment on this thing. And right now this is also Malibu's little bedroom just because he can't hold his bladder for more than 30 minutes. And so he needs to be in his little space. Also, he cries so much. And this is the outdoor bathroom area that can be either for guests or would have been for that other bedroom that's downstairs. But it's just kind of this nice open space. I'm not a big fan of outdoor bathrooms, but luckily I don't have to use this one, but it is an option for I don't know anybody, I guess, and it has a shower, it has a sink. I do use the sink sometimes and the toilet, but let's go and continue our tour, shall we? The other little touches I think that make a house a home, I love orchids, it's my favorite flowers, so you'll see them twice around here. I've also been buying some house plants. Okay, wait, this is one of my favorite features of this house, and I never thought that I would have a house that had this kind of waterfall feature. Now, if I did not have a three-month-old puppy that was crying all the time, I would be meditating here with this lovely sound of the waterfall. But instead, I can hardly ever get 15 minutes of peace with two dogs in the house. But I just love this waterfall. I think it's really chic. And at nighttime, too, it's all lit up. It's really pretty to just have that going. It can be very romantic. TV area, I have my smart TV hooked up. I spend a lot of time watching movies and Netflix and things like that, like everybody does. But let's go upstairs. This mirror was already here. I think that's a nice touch. I love having a house with two floors because having a second floor in Bali almost always means that you have a view. And I have not had a view in Bali uh, since I lived in a boot, actually, when I lived on the second floor. But being able to see a horizon makes such a difference in your overall mood and happiness, I feel like, every day. Because even where I was living previously, I just was always looking at a wall. Even though there was the pool, then there was the wall right in front. But now, this is my view from the second floor. I'm so happy. Even just to look at this out right now, I'm smiling because look how beautiful these frangipani trees are here. And then you can see a small rice field over to that side. This is sort of, I think, Umalas area, technically. But what's nice about where we are is we're at the end of the road here. So it's generally mostly quiet. I say that with a little bit of an asterisk because they've just cleared out this volleyball field over here. And now we have kids playing volleyball in the evening. And that's not my favorite thing. But you take the good with the bad in volley because, frankly, there's just no place that's perfect. Let me show you, there's two bedrooms upstairs. I'm gonna show you first the guest bedroom because it's kind of the before. I haven't touched the guest bedroom because I have no guests. So you'll see what all of this looked like and then I'll show you my bedroom and you'll see the changes that I've made. So first please come in, my guests, my future guests, and this will be your room. 
You can see everything is okay. Some pretty cheesy artwork on the wall that is not my favorite. Um, and just kind of some basic furniture that in my room I had taken out and replaced, but I'll show you that. Now these two bedrooms are completely identical. They both have ensuite bathrooms. And for me, you'll see in mine as well, but the all important feature being that it has a bathtub. I'll show you that in my bedroom. You don't need to see the ugly guest bedroom. But just to show, this guest bedroom also has the hideous fan. I decided not to waste money by changing that because why do it when I'm never in here and I don't have to look at it? Now I'm going to show you the after. So this is my bedroom. It has some of the same pieces. I didn't change everything, but just a few touches can go a very long way. So welcome into my bedroom. The first thing you might notice is my blue wall. I just had that painted this week. I wanted an accent wall. I find this, it's called Caribbean blue. I find it very calming to look at. And I took out all of the furniture that was here, that desk and that commode, and I replaced it with one of my own wardrobes from one of my homes. This chair is mine, I bought. Uh, this also I had made custom in a different home that I lived in. So these little touches along with my 70s shag rug that my dog loves to lie down on. I always have fresh flowers. These are the kind of things that for me make my bedroom feel like a little palace. And so as I said, uh, same actually dressing. I have a lot of space for my clothes, which for me is important because I just have a lot of clothes and lots of space I can't even reach up here so I'm sure that once I have a surplus I still have storage and then the bathroom is simple but has everything that I need it's not as glamorous a bathtub as I had in my previous villa but the nice thing about it is that it actually does fill up all the way with hot water pretty quickly a separate shower and even a, you know, a decent view as well from the bathroom itself and then just this big nice area for products and a vanity, very important for me because I do have a lot of stuff. And I'll show you now the very last feature of this home, which was something that when I looked at, I just thought, you know, can I, can I give up this house? Can I not take it? You know, because I was on the fence. Do I need such a big place? Do I want to leave Changu? Blah, blah, blah. But look at this. In addition to everything that we've seen so far, we also have this extra lovely lounge seating area up here. So this commode is from what was in my bedroom. We moved it out here. I'm in the process, as I said, everything is still an ongoing process, but I'm in the process of adding more house plants everywhere. Over here, where you're standing, I'm gonna have a, some kind of big, beautiful tree, maybe a bougainvillea or something that has flowers. I just feel like we can do a lot with this space that is right now not utilized, but it's really nice to sit up here, especially you can see the sunset when you're lounging and my dogs like to relax here as well with me. And you just think, oh, it's so nice to live in Bali when you're up here. And that's the whole house. I'm really happy with this move. I've been here only one month, but I signed a 12 year, 12 month at least, I should say 12 years, my God, I can't even think that far in advance. But a lot of times with houses like this, you do have to pay the whole year in advance. In my case, I was able to negotiate a split payment, but I'm paying just about 10,000 US dollars a year for this incredible house. And again, that is the coronavirus price. This place would be more expensive in normal times, but there's a lot of availability right now on the market for housing like this. And there's not that many people that have the cash flow to put down $10,000 at once like that to rent a whole house. So I feel so lucky to be here and it's just made a whole change in my life. Some people might be thinking, you're one person, why do you need all of this space to yourself? But I'm a homebody and it just feels so good to be in a place that, that cradles you, that you feel comforted and that you just feel like you have the space to be creative. And that's how I feel here, that now that I have an office space that's dedicated to that, I'm not just sitting in my kitchen and working, I feel like I'm more 
productive when I want to be. And I'm also just happier to be able to look out and to see a horizon. And even with the dogs barking in the background, which you may or may not hear, I'm happy here. And thank you guys for coming on this tour with me. And I hope that some of my friends, wherever you are in the world, when you watch this, it'll make you want to come and visit me in Bali because you'll have a guest bedroom. It won't be as nice as mine, but maybe if I'm feeling like a really good friend, I'll also buy you a feather mattress just like I have in my room. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and until the next time, take care. Cheers. See you soon. How's that for one take?